This is a day that the Lord has made. Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. I want to do another red lip look today using a different combo. I don't have a lot of makeup. I am a minimalist, but I have two different red eyeliners and two different lipsticks. So I could come up with, I don't know, four different combinations, right? At least, I think, yeah. So we're gonna do another combination today. I'm also sharing with you all my birthday gift from Sephora. It's a mascara and a multi-use stick. So we will be using that and just talking about December, winter. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. All right, the first thing, let's get these under eye. taken care of. I'm back to my Pixie corrector in peach and I'm just gonna kind of warm up in there and apply, I think I put too much. Yeah, let me not twirl so much in the little pot. Okay, so you guys, my hands are really dry. So before I turn on the camera, I made sure to moisturize my hands. And this is what I did. Like, I literally can flake, see my skin flaking off. This part was worse, but it's doing better. And I'm going to share, share with you what I am doing. I take hyaluronic acid, put it on as a first layer. And because I've heard if you don't top off your hyaluronic acid, it basically pulls the moisture from your skin. But we don't want that to happen. We want the moisture to stay locked in. So then I'm putting a lotion. And I purchased from Walgreens this Gold Bond Healing Hydrating Hand Cream. In the aloe it doesn't say hand cream it doesn't but I'm using it as a hand cream and I put it on top just like a pea amount for each hand pea size this was a dollar 29 and then I used my Walgreens dollar so it came out technically free and I started using this last night Okay, I made this combo this morning that I just showed you, but last night I started using this and it instantly made my hands probably, it took away 85% of the flaky dry skin after one use. So this is my second use, but like I said, I just made up that combo and I think I'm going to have great results. Another thing I want to share is you know we're in a change of season i'm already calling this winter winter solstice is thursday which i want to start celebrating winter solstice and summer summer solstice so i need to come up with some kind of plan i don't know yet what it will be but i want to really celebrate that day because it's the longest day in winter for when wait it's the shortest day it's the shortest day longest night in winter and then the summer will be the longest day shortest night which I think is so cool <laughs> I've always loved those days and I've been so intrigued by them and I'm um, finally and then I think about celebrating after it's too late so I'm going to do that this year. Another thing I'm changing because it's winter are my perfume, my fa fragrance. I usually like a very light, fresh scent. Almost like um, a teenage girl scent. I have not grown up yet when it comes to fragrances. <laughs> I tried to go musky in 
more warm and I, I, I couldn't take the scent. So my winter scent, and this is also like my very, when I want to feel expensive, I use this Imperio by Armani and it comes in this bottle. It's a little more, uh, what's the word? Mature, sophisticated. So that's the one I like. And then I have another perfume that was gifted to me. It's very musky, very warm and sweet. And I'm trying to like it since it was a gift and every now I have to do the lightest spray when I use the other one so it's either that one or this one and then I do have I put different packaging but this is from Bath and Body Works it was also a gift this is what I have left I've had this for several years it's like um cheer cherry cheer merry cherry cheer or something like that they don't carry it anymore and i have used it very sparingly but i think it's time for me to finish this because i also have the lotion and the lotion is starting to separate even though i've mixed it and mixed it up pretty well they're winter type of fragrances and i'm going to use them up this year i consider winter all the way through about valentine's day so that's what you will be smelling on me every single day. And it's expired. It's no longer available. Which is a bummer. I honestly, you guys don't really care for Bath & Body Works lotions or fragrances. I do like their air fresheners, the wallflowers. But it just is too much fragrance and... I like a simple lotion that has no scent. So the lotions are definitely not a favorite of mine. I do give them to someone else, like if they're gifted to me and I can't tolerate it. I will try. I will try. So I do give them away if they're given to me. But I just can't do lotions anymore. I used to be able to. I used to be so into the Victoria's Secret when I was younger. I remember I loved the pear. Okay, I'm going to keep the same look, eyeshadow look, which is, let me show you guys because I'm so proud I'm using this up. Can you see it? You see I've hit pan in four. So I'm using this shade and it looks darker. I think it looks darker on the camera. And I'm just putting it into my crease that I am creating because I don't want everyone to know that I'm getting a hooded eye. Plus, I have so much room between here and here that if I really did put this in my real crease, it would kind of look ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah that looks so beautiful so so beautiful what else have I changed because of winter my concealer I, I really do want to in, look into the Catrice actually this isn't as dry as I thought today I've got a different opinion <laughs> it's not as dry as I'm thinking maybe it is a concealer I can use all a corrector I can use all year long you guys I'm horrible when I go back and look at my videos sometimes I edit sometimes I don't it makes me so upset when I say the wrong word like I forget corrector concealer and the other day I don't know what I was saying I was like that is so confusing when I say the wrong thing Lightly going to set this with a sample of Laura Mercier Blurring Powder. It has lasted me 
over a year and I haven't even gone through it. But this is the only place I use it. And I use it very sparingly because I don't want cake face, powdery face, whatever you want to call it. Okay, tonight I do have plans to go out after work. I want to go to Harkins Theater and I want to watch a Christmas movie with my child. I don't care. At this point, I don't care if he falls asleep <laughs> during the movie. I just want him with me. Yeah, that might sound horrible. That Those are the times he's like, Mom, you need a boyfriend? Which... I don't know. I guess I have a boyfriend, but I never see him. It sucks. <laughs> Especially during the holiday season because December is my favorite time of the year. It's a big time bummer. Because we live kind of far apart and we have totally different schedules and whatever, whatever. Now, if this was any other movie and not Christmas, I might go by myself, but I don't want to go by myself. It is not a movie I want to watch by myself. <laughs> so I do have to bribe him sometimes and I'm like, I'll get you your chili steak burrito. And he's happy. Or Kane's. One of the, one of the two. All right, you guys. It's time for limitless lash mascara by Ilia. never have used Ilia products but thanks to sephora i get to try it out Ooh. oh oh interesting oh this is kind of oh it's not a wand i've been using but i've used these before Oh, goodness. Yes, the longer side does the lengthening. The longer bristles and then the shorter bristles. I imagine would give me volume. Let's do this. feels dry but sometimes it's you know it's cold so it might not be responding the way it should be because of the temperature oh no I just got some right there you guys I have not been consistent in doing my nighttime skincare routine which involves my lash eyelash serum and I need to get back to it because I do feel that my eyelashes have grown and thickened up slightly with the serum. And in case you guys haven't figured it out, I'm a very natural makeup type of person. I don't want to get too crazy. Not too dark, not too much. Okay, this, I don't know how to use this just yet. Um, again, this is kind of dry. So let me warm it up on my finger. We're going to do where I always put my blush. Oh, first I should clean off that mascara. Let's see how my makeup remover works. It's dry. I did apply some pressure, but it's gone. Just like that, it's gone. Okay, this is a very light color. I do like it. I think I need to put more on this side 
All right, you guys. Mmm, I like it. Now, if I wasn't doing the red, I would apply this as lipstick, too. Okay, so far, so good. Now, the next important step of the video is now I am using my Revlon Long Wearing in Wine Lip Liner. Uh, I have three different shades in this lip liner because one of my favorite YouTubers, Emily, she said this is long wearing. And as far as a drugstore. So I decided to buy a nude, a deeper nude, and then this reddish color. I think I should find a pink though. That's what I'm missing in my lip collection. Lipstick collection. I do want to slightly overline. Because why not? <laughs> I don't have. I think I have nice. Fairly nice. Full lips. But I could go. A little bit fuller. With the overlining. Now my next step is lipstick. I'm using an e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick, which I don't even know if they have this color anymore. It is Velvet Rope. And it might not even go with this lip liner. Yeah. It's, um, almost red orange, but at the same time, it kind of looks like my other one I wore yesterday yeah, the, on my last video. Uh huh. I was a little bit shaky. That was not cool. I think it looks good on me. I never thought I would find reds for my skin tone, but I think this one and the one I used the other day are really good on my skin. What do you guys think? You see it has a little bit of gloss to it. It's not dry and matte. So I'm not going to do the lip gloss, lip lacquer step. And that completes this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed I hope you're having a wonderful December and um, just making sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. And I will see you guys next time.